Vector Software Development Kit, or SDK. You will learn about the Automated Password Synchronization Solution for the Identity Lifecycle Manager, or ILM, and the basics of automated group management as part of ILM. The Software Development Kit for Windows Live Admin Center contains a Visual Studio solution, project files, and c -sharp code that you can use to create applications to manage Windows Live members. Microsoft offers several ways in which you can synchronize your internal student data source with Windows Live Admin Center. The first solution is to manage members using the command line utilities. With this set of tools, you can easily implement a low maintenance solution that will provision accounts in Windows Live. You can also use Microsoft Identity Lifecycle Manager Server, ILM, with the Windows Live Management Agent design to connect your internal infrastructure to Windows Live namespace. As an alternative to using the pre-built tools or the ILM-based implementation, you can extend the functionality of the existing utilities or create tools using custom code. You may have several reasons to choose custom coding, such as you have extensive custom requirements that you cannot address using the standard tools, you have an existing custom solution for user provisioning and account maintenance and want to extend upon that solution, you cannot implement advanced automated user provisioning scenarios with the out-of-the-box tools, you have internally developed web applications that you want to have to communicate with Windows Live namespace, or you want to extend on the examples provided in the SDK. Businesses face many password management challenges. Implementing a password management solution is necessary in many corporate environments because members have to authenticate to the network in a secure manner. Passwords are the most common authentication mechanism. From a deployment perspective, passwords are the simplest and cheapest authentication technique. A poor password management policy in an enterprise environment can compromise enterprise security and make the enterprise vulnerable to outside attack from malicious threat. Businesses can adopt various solutions to solve password management challenges. For example, members can change their passwords on each connected data directory by logging onto each directory interactively and then changing the password natively in the connected data store. Although this is a typical solution, members can easily become confused and frustrated if they cannot remember which password they used for any of the connected data stores. Another solution is a state-based solution in which users change their passwords in an authoritative connected data source. Then, a synchronization application pushes the updated password to other connected data sources that maintain identity information. Although this solution is also typical, it is not efficient because a state-based solution is not real-time. Users must wait for the synchronization application to run for their passwords to be synchronized over multiple connected directories. This delay causes a problem when members log on to a connected data source before the password management agent runs. Because the passwords are not synchronized, users must remember the previous passwords for all of their connected data sources. An event-driven password management application, such as the one in ILM 2007, is a more viable solution. ILM 2007 users change their passwords from their desks in an authoritative connected data source. Then, a service in the authoritative connected source captures the password change request and pushes the newly changed password to other configured connected data sources in real time. The solution is cost effective and efficient because users do not have to manually change passwords for each connected data source to match the password of the authoritative connected data source. Also, when users initiate password changes, those changes are effective immediately. The Group Management Web Application provides a sample solution to define groups based on user membership in the metaverse. The application stores its definitions in a Microsoft SQL Server database. A separate group populator program generates group and membership information that is also stored in the database. The Group Management Web Application has these features. You can create simple groups based on metaverse attributes that you manually enter as a query. For example, you might use a query clause like, title contains music. The group populator program runs a query to return all the metaverse objects to satisfy the query and then stores the membership information in the database. ILM 2007 later imports this information for provisioning. 
You can also define families of groups based on attribute data. For example, you might want to create a group for each department in your company and base membership on the users in each one. You could call such groups something like All People in Department Music. When you run it, the Group Populator program reads the definition, generates one group for each department, and then populates the groups correctly. If a person has their department attribute set or changed to a value that does not exist, the program creates a new group. A reference attribute group is a variant of the attribute group. For example, you might want to create a group for each manager that includes all users who report to that manager. This is slightly more complicated to define, but otherwise reference attribute groups behave like attribute groups. It is also possible to make individual inclusions and exclusions for any group. The Group Management Web application uses the notification service to send emails to users about membership changes. When a user is removed from a group, an email is sent to notify the user, but actual deprovisioning is delayed to give them a chance to complete any group business. The delay defaults to zero days, but you can configure this value. Let's see how an attribute-based group management approach could work. This example shows how to create a group music that will collect into one group all users with department attribute value equal to music. The purpose of this exercise is to see how we can create and manage dynamically maintained group. First, in the Group Populator web application, click Add Group. Fill in the group name, description, and group type fields. The group type is the type of Active Directory group. The WHERE clause, based on Metaverse attributes, is what the application uses to generate memberships. Click Clause to open the Clause Builder dialog. Define the clause to be Department equals Music. Click Preview to check the result of the query to ensure that it produces the results that you want. The group membership has not yet been built at this point, but you can see who will be included in it. Click Update to accept the clause. Verify that group music is listed in the group populator. In this session, you have seen how the Windows Live Admin Center Software Development Kit contains a Visual Studio solution, project files, and c -sharp code that you can use to create custom solutions to manage Windows Live members. You can extend the functionality of the existing utilities or create tools using custom code as an alternative to using the pre-built tools or ILM-based implementation. ILM 2007 uses an event-driven password synchronization solution so that users do not have to manually change passwords for each connected data source to match the password of the authoritative connected data source. Using the Group Populator web application, you can define groups based on membership information that is stored